Hello everybody to lesson number 18 of JavaScript for Active Design. In this lesson, we will know the random in JavaScript. We will talk about the random a little bit before we go to the uh, to the coding. The random could be used for games. You know the games? When you visit, for example, imagine the game, you play it and you see the same tree, the same house, the same people. Every time you enter, the same tree, the same house, the same gun, the same thing, okay? So it will be something boring, okay? So imagine you have played the game two hours a day and at the end you say you are fighting the same people you are, for, for example, for the fighting games or for the building games or any type of games but they will be boring if they haven't random so random helps the games to be, I mean, enjoyable, more enjoyable, more enthusiastic so when you face the game with new thing, you will be helpful i mean it will be helpful for you to enjoy so the game use the random so it could help them to choose a random house for you the random uh, fighter with a random gun that you could choose it random game i mean a random people a random uh, strength people who would face you so that if you win win every time you will take you will get it boring about that game but if you win and many times you lose, you will find that you, there's some difficulties and you will enjoy playing that game. So the random is helpful in these things. How they use it? For example, the, the random, for example, we have many fighters or many players there. I mean, the computer players, we have five, for example. Every time we use the random to create a number for them. So we, so we could choose from the database the best, uh, I mean, the random fighter that he could face you and you could get uh, playing with them together with different I mean no following not they will start from one then end for five they will get you an, a random number so let's go to the code and see what we have here is the uh, code of math it's one of the math uh, functions which is random so random gives you a random number great like this this is a, ram a random number. You cannot manage it. But we could manage the, ta the, the range, for example. We could say we need a, ram a random number from place of, the, of something to something. Okay. So, for example, here I will say that I need a, 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 a random number, for example, from 0 to 10. How could I do that? I say math. Math. Okay. Sorry math then dot uh, let's see round or floor floor then so that it could be uh, okay so then like this math floor which will be round the elements the, the random value that way I, I will get and I will multiply that value by 10 so I will get a value from 0 to 10 this value will return I mean this empty value will return us a zero element okay zero so I will have for example I will multiply that element with 10 so it could for example before we do anything let's see what we have here it will be a zero value okay but if we have here 10 let's refresh the place here it will be zero every time okay but if we have here multiply the value with 10 it will be changed every time because it will be rounded and multiplied many times with different numbers okay so uh, player number one number six number four number six again six again seven eight one three one seven eight nine so they are different they don't follow any uh, I mean any uh, you could say mathematic function or something like that it follows the random the randomness there's no interfere from the humans great so you could increase from here from where to where for example from 0 to 100 from 0 to 9 nine hundred ninety ninety nine at uh, any value we need it if you need for, to start for example from 100 to 1000 so to 1000 to 1000 from 100 you could see plus 100 so it will start from 100 to 1000 when we refresh the page, it will be above 100 and lower than 1000. 
let's refresh it will be more than 100 lower than 1000 great it's great 100 1051 why yes you need it to be uh, it's calculate okay it's give you for example here 1000 you say to 1000 1000 and calculate or sum this 1000 with 100 and it will if you need it to be 1000 to 100 you should you should minus here 100 which will be 900 okay so now it's 1000 so it will start from 100 and end with 1000 great that's great uh, this was about the random if you are interested in games it, um, I mean it's enjoyable and it's uh, a benefitable place to study there and to work there the games making and games developing is a wonderful place to study so you could search these all resources in the internet and you could get benefit of these things so this was about the random it's helpful you will use it in your times if you are creative and you have many creative ideas you will use this randomness so thanks for watching and listening and see you in the next video which would be about the boolean thanks a lot bye